and we could be seeing something spectacular possibly here. You'll see why shortly. Ricardo Scandoni of Italy is in lane one. Dayananda Behila Dania of Sri Lanka is in two. David Prince of the USA. Bronze in London in this. And bronze in Christchurch in the last World Championships also. 49.87, his world record set in San Antonio last month. And that could well go tonight. Will he take it? Or will it be David Berra of Germany who finished fifth in the 100 meters final, but who won bronze in the 200? Silver in this in the last World Championships in 2011. Blake Leeper of the USA in five. Second in both the 100 and the 200. Two silver medals this week. Bronze in the 200 in London and silver in this 400 at last year's Paralympic Games. <laughs> Going for the hat-trick. Gold in the 100 in a championship record time. Gold in the 200 in a world record time. The man who beat Pistorius in London. Alan Oliveira, his personal best last night, easing up. Windows died down. Jackie Marciano from Canada in lane seven. And Ivan Prokopiev of Russia is in lane eight. Alan Oliveira, what awaits here in the 400? Gold in the 200 in London, gold in the 200 and 100 here. 50.50 last night, it could be another fast one here. We have some great candidates. Scandoni of Italy in one, Pahila Denia of Sri Lanka two, Prince USA three, Bera Germany four, Leeper USA five, Oliveira Brazil six, Marciano Canada seven, Prokopiev Russia, is in lane eight, the final of the men's 400 meters, T44. And they're away, watch Oliveira in six, watch Leeper in five, watch Prince in three. Prince is catching up and David Bear in the inside lane and Leeper. Look at Oliveira go! Look at him go on the far side in lane six. He's overtaking everybody. Can he keep the momentum up? He was amazing last night. He stopped running basically with 50 minutes to go and still ran a 50-50. It's Alan Oliveira all on his own. Can he keep it up for the second half of the race? Leading far and away ahead of the rest. He's up to 300 here. Oliveira's on the way. Surely he's won this now. It's just him against the clock. Unless Leeper can fight back right at the end. Does Oliveira still have the legs? Here comes Leeper. Leeper's on the way back. Oliveira in front. Oliveira leading. Leeper won't catch him. Oliveira on the way. 48.60 is a championship record for Alan Oliveira. And he kept it going and it took a lot out of him. 48.6, Oliveira's there, and Oliveira has done the clean sweep. 100, 200, and now 400, a new championship record of 48.58. But over 400, well, he used his 100 and 200 meters power here, and then the rest, it was just sheer determination to get over the line. Certainly he's more of a shorter sprinter than anything else. It's still a fantastic championship record, beating that of Oscar Pistorius from seven years ago. Oliveira's at T43, and the world record for that is still held by Oscar Pistorius in Daegu at the IAAF World Championships two years ago. And this was when he was beginning to tie up, and Leeper looked a bit of a candidate. Prince in third, trying to run him down as well, but Oliveira just had enough. And he got over the line, Leeper second, back, Prince third. Back, back, back. Well, had there been maybe another 30 or 40 meters left, would have been interesting to see if Oliveira would have been able to hang on. 
but he went for it, he got there, and he got the championship record, and by this stage, he was beginning to tie up and slow down a bit. He stopped running with 40, 50 to go yesterday, but he looked, had a glance around, and he knew he'd be okay, and Alan Oliveira gets his third gold medal of the week for Brazil, and he has won everything going. He's a great athlete, he's a great champion. And there he is, it took him ages to get to his feet. He's gonna go through the medal ceremony here, I've never seen that before, he's actually passed between the two people in the ceremony, and the cameraman cheekily went with him. They went either side of a lady.